Hello, you're in Pablo's spot, and this is DevScoops, a rapid show intel on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. If this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. Today's episode is a show and tell on encrypting files at rest. I'm going to explore a tool called Age. The first thing that I need to do is install the tool on my machine. And now that the tool is installed, let's start with the basics. First thing I will do is create a new directory here and call it keys. And then I will generate a key that can be used as a recipient to any encrypted files by running this command. I can generate as much key file as I wish with different output files. And each file will have a unique public key. Let's start encrypting some files. So let me see the one level up. And then I'm going to create two new directories. I will be using the encrypt directory to encrypt some files. And then I'm going to create a scratch file. So let me encrypt my scratch file and use the first public key as the recipient. On this command, I have specified the encrypted output file, which is the string that follows the dash dash output switch. I'm also passing the dash dash recipient, which indicates who is allowed to decrypt the output file. The public key that I pass on this recipient switch identifies the first AGE private key that I generated earlier. And the last string in the command is the actual file that I need to encrypt. Let me copy this encrypted file over to my decrypt directory. And then I'm going to navigate to my decrypt directory and try to decrypt the file. On this command, I am telling the AGE tool to decrypt a file using the dash dash decrypt parameter switch. And then I pass an identity parameter using the first AGE private key that I generated earlier. And then I also provided the output file that will be generated by the run. And then lastly, the encrypted file to be decrypted. That looks correct, so the decryption worked. And now I'm going to try to decrypt the same file using the other AGE private key file that is not set as a recipient. The decryption command failed and I'm getting an error that suggests that this private key is not an intended recipient. And so if I want to add another recipient to my encrypted file, I'll have to add another set of dash dash recipient parameter switch on my command. So let me delete all the files on this decrypt directory and then navigate back to my encrypt directory. And then I'm going to update this command by adding another recipient that points to the public key of the other AGE private file that I generated earlier. And now I'm going to copy the new encrypted file over to my decrypt directory. If I decrypt this new encrypted file with the second AGE private key file, I no longer get the error. And if I verify the content of my decrypted file, the decryption now works for both keys. If I want to consolidate all the recipients of an AGE encrypted file, I can create a file with all the public keys delimited by a new line. And inside this directory, I'm going to create a recipient file. And then I will update this file to contain all the public keys that I want to be recipients of my encrypted file. And when encrypting a file, instead of using dash dash recipient in my command, I will be using dash dash recipients dash file and the path to the recipients file. And now I'm going to attempt to decrypt the file using my first AGE private key. That content tells me that the decryption worked. And then this time, I'm going to try to decrypt the file using the other key. The content is still intact, which means the decryption worked. If I want to require passphrase on the encrypted file, I need to pass the dash dash passphrase parameter switch. But before I run this command, I need to get rid of the recipient's file parameter switch. What this implies is that the encrypted file does not get limited to specific recipients. The file can be decrypted as long as you have the right passphrase. So let's go ahead and encrypt this file. This prompt tells me to enter my custom passphrase, but I also have the option to allow AGE to generate one for me. And then this time, I don't need to provide an identity parameter on the command. And then if I enter the passphrase that's generated by AGE for me, that tells me that the decryption was successful. Now let me run the decryption once again. And then this time, I'm going to pass an incorrect passphrase. The decryption failed and it tells me that the passphrase is incorrect. 
I can also use my SSH key as recipient to an encrypted file. And then I'm going to recall the encryption command that contains my recipient's file. And then I'm going to update the recipient's file path to point to my SSH public key. And then recall the decrypt command that contains an identity file reference. And then update the path to point to my SSH private key. That tells me that the decryption was successful. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.